As soon as the recording starts, we will get started. Okay, Michaela says it started on her screen. It's not started on mine, but I'm going to start anyways. Yesterday, you had a ReadWorks assignment. Um, like half of you did it, half of you didn't. And it's fine if you didn't do it yet because um, it's not due till tomorrow. So you need to have your ReadWorks assignment done by 2.35 tomorrow. I think there's still 10 of you that haven't done it. So if you're one of those people that hasn't done it, make sure you get it done. Okay, that's all. Yes, Michaela. Yesterday's ReadWorks assignment is what I'm talking about. I haven't graded them yet. That's on my list to do if you have finished it, but it is due by tomorrow. So the 10 of you that haven't done it yet, please get it done. We are on page. I know, I know, I know. Oh, Michaela, I don't want to hear your voice anymore today unless I call on you, okay? You're stressing me out. You are stressing me out. Okay. We are on the top of page 70. Remember, Chase was just videotaping everyone at the football game, and now he's going to go get interviews, and Hugo is like, you know, they didn't want to let Hugo in, but obviously he's part of the video club. So now they're trying to be like, why the heck are you hanging out with Hugo? Who joined video club? Like, why would you join video club, etc. So, chapter or page, top of page 70. That doesn't explain why he's running around with video losers landing challenges. He's not running around with anybody, Aaron explains reasonably. He's covering the hurricanes, man. Making sure we look good in that yearbook thing. That's how he's helping the team while he's on the sidelines. Yeah, Rubio, snorts Bear. If I had a face like yours, I'd appreciate anyone who could make me look good. So shut up. I jump in as Peacemaker. Believe me, guys, I'll be back as soon as I get the word from my doctor. This makes the team happy, I can tell. Hugo shoots me a strange look. But how can I expect him to understand? He doesn't strike me as the kind of guy who plays sports, except for maybe in video games. Joey chucks the ball my way. I watch, almost as a spectator, as my hand reaches out and snatches it in the air. Reaction time? A-OK. It feels good. Like I'm back to my old self amnesia. I like I'm back to an old self amnesia couldn't quite rob me of. We do a few interviews. The guys are chatty with me, hammering it up for the camera like running a selfie service. Hugo gets mostly one word answers. When I notice he mumbles that we can fix it in editing. I don't see how any amount of editing can fix. What are your thoughts on the upcoming season? Answer. Good. Then again, I'm just a newbie, newbie. Nobody even trusted me to show up for the first video club assignment. When we're done, Hugo can't get out fast enough. There's This is hostile territory for him. But me, I feel like I'm home. Well, I'd love to talk your ear off about my road to the NFL glory, Aaron Jaws. The bear and I have to go water some old people. Wait, I'm going with you, I tell them. They stare at me like I've just announced that I'm flying to Jupiter. Dude, you don't have to go, Aaron reminds me. They cut you loose because you got hurt. It'll be fun. That falls flat, so I try again. We're teammates, right? You go, I go. Bear's eyes narrows. Exactly how much do you remember about the Graybeard Motel? Nothing, I reply honestly. He grins. If you want to go there, you don't if you want to go there when you don't have to, you didn't just scramble you brain your brains. You knocked them out completely. Come on, how bad can it be? I'm semi joking. But those two are stone faced that I start to wonder, yikes, what is this place? Frankenstein's lab? Your call, Aaron says, it'll be good to have you back with us, even if you're nuts. So remember, Aaron and Bear have to do community service because the prank they pulled on Joel, and they do it at like a senior citizen's home. And um, Chase used to have to do it too, but he doesn't because he got hurt. And then like he couldn't physically go and help them because, you know, he was in a coma and stuff. So he kind of got off the hook, but he's volunteering to go with. He's saying like, no, I should be there too. If you guys go, I'll go. Because remember, he really wants to feel like him, his old self. He wants to, you know, be close with his friends again. Evan. 71. Bottom of 71. The Portland Street Assisted Living Residence is about 10-minute walk from school. I know I was on community service here before, but this place is brand new to me. It's a boring three-story building with the wide circular drive and a broad landscape front dotted with benches and outdoor picnic tables. There are several elderly people outside enjoying the warm weather. A couple of them wave and call out greeting to us. I wave back. Aaron and Bear ignore them. As the main door slides open in front of us, Bear mumbles, hold your breath. 
It's an odd combination of two smells that don't mix. Fresh flowers and hospital-like antiseptic. Not great, but you get used to it in a hurry. We report to Nurse Duncan, who's the head nurse on duty. She's surprised to see me. I got better, I tell her, so I figured I'd finish off my community service. The court told you that, she asked dubiously. I shake my head. I came up with it on my own. We don't believe it either, Aaron jokes with mocking soul, soul manity. That's very noble, Nurse Duncan says. Well, I've got you boys on snack card today. It doesn't normally take three, but we'll give Chase a soft day on his first day, a soft job on his first day back. We get the rolling cart landed, 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 landed with two boxes, cookies, crackers, and free newspaper. By the time we get off the elevator on the third floor, Aaron and Bellier have helped themselves to half the merchandise. Believe me, they have more Oreos than these mummies could ever gum down. Aaron says, when I look disapproving, and I can assure you, oh, perfect one, you sampled plenty of these cookies off this cart. I reach back for a snack, Jackie memory, but come up empty. I'll have to take his word for it. Bear tears open a bag and dumps a small pile of ginger snaps in his hand. I take a tiny bite, glaring at my partners in crime, who are chowing down in a blizzard of wrappers and crumbs. We played a football game this morning, Bear reminds him. You woke up, you work up an appetite. Not everybody's too delicate like you. I guess I'm not too delicate to bend over and pick up your garbage, I snap back. I might be getting the hang of these. I might be getting the hang of being friends with these two. So Aaron and Bear are just like eating all these poor old people's food. I said. But um so but he they're also leaving their garbage everywhere. And I bet in his old life, Mr. Chase would have been eating all the friends too. Or all the friends would be eating the friends. Haha. <laughs> he's hopefully he's not eating friends. Uh. He would probably be eating all the cookies and stuff too and dropping his wrappers. But right now, Chase is like, Why are you guys eating this food? It's not for us. And they're dropping wrappers everywhere. And he's like, um, okay, I'll pick it up for you. We go door to door, offering the residents snacks and papers. When I was in the hospital, all the staff and volunteers who came to my room were really nice and friendly. Well, Aaron and Bear are the opposite of that. Aaron's the polite one who flings the door open at wides and barks, snack cart! That is followed by, what do you want from Bear? They call the men Dumbledore and all the women Dumbledora and respond to any question with a combination of shrugs and grunts. When I can't stand it anymore, I ask what I can do for everybody and usually end up adjusting bed heights, searching for lost TV roads, and then occasionally calling nurse. You're slowing us down, man, Aaron complains. At this rate, we'll never blow this greased little stam. Quiet, I hiss. They'll hear you. You're joking, right? Bear sneers. Most of these old fossils can't remember to change the batteries in their hearing aids. Last thing any of them have heard was the A-bomb test at Yucca Flat. So... Um, like, they're literally calling them Dumbledore, and they're calling them fossils out loud. So they're being very disrespectful to all of the elderly people. So, like, that makes me sad. So we don't want to disrespect elderly people. And Chase is not understanding why the heck they're acting, acting this way, because once again, he has no memory. So he's like, what the heck? Be quiet. Why are you being so mean? They're not as deaf as you think, I shoot back. The lady in 212 definitely heard it when you ripped one in her living room. Aaron laughs. Now that's the chase we know and love. Those jokes are funny when it's three of us. Not so much when the old people are around. Most of them are pretty frail. They definitely don't deserve, they definitely deserve more respect than they're getting from us. Maybe Aaron and Bear can, maybe Aaron and Bear ran out of patience because they got no choice about community service and I'm here on purpose. Maybe I was out of patience too before my amnesia made me forget. But I find the res residents kind of interesting. They remember stuff in real life that you can only read about in history books. There's a lady in 326 whose father was one of the firemen on the scene of the Hindenburg disaster. The guy in 318 was a communications expert in Houston mission control when Neil Armstrong first set foot on the moon. In room 209 lives a guy who's totally blind, yet tells the most vivid stories of growing up two doors down from the baseball hall of famer Joe DiMaggio. The rule is that if someone is not sleeping, we leave a juice box and a pack of cookies on the table. The man in 221 is snoring enthusiastically in a chair when I notice a black and white photo on his nice stand. It's a picture of a young soldier bowing his head to receive a military decoration from an important looking man with round steel rim spectacles. Spectacles or glasses, in case you didn't know. 
Is that President Truman, I whisper? Aaron looks bored. Who cares? Let's get out of here. If this Dumbledore wakes up, he'll talk your ear off. But I'm hooked. The only medal you get straight from the president is a medal of honor. This guy's a hero. Big deal, Aaron scoffs. Back in the day, there were so many wars that they handed out medals like Hershey Kisses. I sigh and start to follow them out the door. I wonder what he did. They don't just give out medals of honor to just any old thing. Probably a slew of trace and top trays. Tr probably a slew a triteratop or some triter. Okay. That would be my thing in my mouth. I cannot say that correctly. Triceratops. I'll tell everyone else later about why I can't say that word correctly. Aaron shrugs. Aaron suggests with the shrugs. Come on, I'm almost done. It was a pterodactyl comes a sarcastic voice from behind us. We wheel around. He's sitting up now, an elderly man, a little bit in the shoulders with a shook of white hair. And I slew it with a stone knife. So the old man heard what they said, and they're, now he's being sarcastic back at them. Olivia, what's up? Nothing? Your hand was just raised. Okay. Um, I step forward. Mister, is that you? That's you in the picture, right? No, it's Harry Truman. Can't you see I'm busy? It takes me half an hour to get out of bed, and twice... That to haul myself across the room with this stupid walker. He's obviously not busy. He just wants to be left alone. Hmm. Oh, okay. He doesn't like us very much. Apparently not all the residents are hard of hearing. Aaron and Bear are already slouching out of the room. Sorry, I mumble, following them in the hallways. You've got to learn, Ambrose, Aaron tells. Get one of those Dumbledores talking about his war days and you'll be here till you're as old as he is. All right. We are going to stop there because we're out of time. If you were one of the people at the nurses, we read to page 76. Now, don't get off yet. We um, don't have reading RTI tomorrow, but next week we're on the green schedule again. So we will have reading RTI every day, which is good because we have so much book to read in like three weeks. So get ready to be reading lots and lots and lots. This recording will be posted in case anyone missed anything, but we only read to page 76. I will see you guys all in reading class today. I will in reading because I'm going to see them all.